OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. I'm outside of the Walgreens. I'm coming at you with my Sunday Walgreens haul. If you're new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know you are new right down there? I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. So we didn't get any um, digital spend boosters except for online shopping, which is probably like for Cyber Monday, which that makes sense. Um, so I think all accounts got the spend 40 online earned back $10 in Walgreens cash. I do have a fantastic transaction for the online ordering to show you if you are interested. Uh, my plan for today is to get in and grab some, just some freebies or some super cheap products that I want. Maybe a digital spend booster will show up in the middle of the week again. <laughs> for in-store shopping, we don't know, but I don't have any paper spend booster to work with and I don't have any digital spend booster to work with. So we have quite a few good deals happening on like some laundry products, some dish soap products, even some paper products, but they're not gonna be cheap enough for me and I don't have a need for anything right now. So I'm just gonna focus on some things that maybe I could use for Christmas or some food things for the house and uh, just grab some deals. I'm super late getting to the store. It's almost one o'clock right now. I decided to make a big breakfast this morning. I was craving. Um, if you follow my other channel, I, it's an awesome Christmas breakfast and I'm gonna be posting it in my Tuesday video on my other channel. Um, but I just had a craving and so I spent this morning, basically I made brunch and uh, the whole family was excited because normally I don't make breakfast. <laughs> I don't usually eat breakfast, honestly but it was kind of like our brunch. So I'm late getting to the store, but we're gonna go in. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I hope you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Uh, all right, if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's go grab some awesome deals. Happy Sunday. We're in the Walgreens getting ready to do a couple of deals. Uh, I feel like it's a good week to skip if you don't need anything. Again, maybe we'll get a digital spend booster that we can use in store later in the week. But I'm going to go for some Rimmel because I have some good coupons and we have Ibotta rebates. There are several Rimmel on clearance. They're also showing on clearance in store. So clearance is going to vary per store, but check your store. I'm going to grab a mascara and one of these eyeshadows. One is $4.99 on clearance. One is $4.79. These are all buy one, get one 50% off. I'm going to grab two face products. These are a blush and a bronzer that is $5.99 each. So again, buy one, get one 50% off. And then I'm going to grab two of the lip glosses. There are a couple of clearance here. Um, but I don't like the color of the clearance, so I'm going to grab ones that I want. And they're priced at $5.29 each. A buy one, get one 50% off. All right, so these six products total me $24.30. I have a $3.50 only for you coupon for the lip, eye, and the face product. And then I have a regular $2 digital coupon for each one of the lip, eye, and face products. So that's gonna drop me down to paying $7.80 for these six products, and I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for $2 back on each one of the lip, $2 back on each one of the face, and $2 back on each one of the eye. So these six are gonna be a $4.19 moneymaker. I don't know if Ibotta says you cannot combine with coupons, but we know at the drugstore it usually works, so I'm just submitting my receipt. Now, a couple of things I wanna say about this. Number one, this has been a couple years now. Whenever I scan Rimmel products in the store, WAG system says they don't carry the product. So it's kind of a pain. You just have to search the product, add it to your cart, see if the coupons applied, which all of mine did. Second thing is, this is a known issue at Walgreens that has been happening for a long time. Certain products, if you have multiple digital coupons, even though you buy the correct products and all of that good stuff, sometimes only one of the coupon will come off. So I have 
two eye coupons, I have two eye products. Both coupons should apply. We're gonna see what happens at the register. If only one apply, I'm canceling my order and I'm gonna do this as a curbside because I know it works as a curbside. Meaning that both coupons will apply on a curbside order. Like I said, this is a known issue. It's been happening for a long time and it doesn't happen with every product, only some products. But I was thinking of doing this as a curbside with some other products to use that digital booster. So I'll show you that before I go check out. Now, if you can't find any clearance at your store on Rimmel, Rimmel products are already reasonably priced. So you can still have an awesome money maker with this deal. Uh, there's a lot of clearance at Walgreens. I see a lot of different shaving products that are really expensive. Might be a Christmas gift you're interested in. There's clearance like all over the store. So make sure you're checking the aisles. All right, this is a pretty darn good deal that I thought I would go ahead and snag. Uh, when I looked online, it did not show that my store carried these, but I was happy to see them. The Oreo bars, they're on sale two for $9 this week. I'm gonna go ahead and grab three of them. They will all ring up for $4.50 each. So three of them is gonna total me $13.50. I don't have any coupons for these, but what I do have are some rebates. We have a $2 rebate over on Ibotta, so I'll get $6 back. Plus there's a 50 cent bonus when you buy three products. And then on Shopkick, we have 375 scan kicks with a limit of three and not scan kicks, purchase kicks and five scan kicks, which totals $4.52. It's gonna make these three just $2.48 for all three of them. So this is what I'm gonna do for my in-store order and I'm just gonna use $20 in Walgreens cash to pay. So I'm just gonna get a super duper low out of pocket and get a whole bunch of a rebate cash money back. Now, like I told you, I was thinking about doing a curbside order because we have this booster of spend 40, earn back $10 in Walgreens cash, and it is for online orders only. Well, we also have an awesome deal on Rakuten. If you are a new user to Rakuten, Rakuten is just where you can do online shopping and you earn cash back. Well, they have an offer right now that expires on November 30th, where if you use my referral link that is listed down in the description box, you will earn back $40 in cash when you spend $40. And one of the reasons I always like to show Rakuten at Walgreens is because Rakuten doesn't count manufacturer coupons against you. So if I was gonna do an online order, this is what I would do. And I would add the Nerd Gummy Clusters because my girls love those and I can get them for stocking stuffers. So all of these products here total me $40.30. After my coupons come off, I would pay the $23.80. Now, I've been a Rakuten user for many years, so I don't qualify for that $40 bonus, but I would get 2% back from using Rakuten through the online order. And you just go to Rakuten, you search what store you wanna shop at, you and you click on it, and it redirects you to that store's website. You place your order, and then you get your cash back with Rakuten. So for me, this curbside order, I would pay $23.80, I would earn $10 in Walgreens cash for spending $40, and I would submit to Ibotta for $12 back. This would cost me just $1.80, which is fantastic because I grabbed a bunch of stocking stuffers for my girls' stockings. Now, if you're new to Rakuten, you would also earn the $40 in cash back. You don't have to get these exact items. Add whatever you want to the Rimmel if you want to get the Rimmel for the Ibotta rebates and because they're great stocking stuffers, but add whatever you want to get you up to 40. Now, like I said, for the Oreo ice cream, my store didn't even show that they carried it. So unfortunately I couldn't add that to a curbside order. Um, but sometimes it does exclude groceries on Rakuten. Look at any of the exclusions. But Rakuten pays out once a quarter. So this will come, our quarter will end December 31st and the payout will be, I think on February 15th. They either mail you a check or they deposit it directly to PayPal. Now, you don't have to just shop at Walgreens. If you don't wanna do a curbside order, 
Right now, not only do they have that big bonus of spend 40, earn 40, there's also 10% back at a lot of stores. So let's say you wanted to buy your kids or your husband or whatever, a pair of Nike shoes, shop through Rakuten, get the $40 cash back for being a new user as long as you buy at least $40 in product, and you'll also earn 10% back because Nike is on a promotion for 10% back. There are several stores. There's a whole bunch of different ways you could do this. But like I said, this does expire on November 30th. So definitely check out the link if you are not currently using Rakuten and sign up for it to get that awesome new bonus. Well, guess what? Only one of each coupon came off for my dang Rimmel, which I was afraid of. So I had them void it and I'm gonna place it as a curbside order. So I'm in the store, I'm just gonna do the order myself. I'm gonna add all of these products to my cart. And I told you if I was gonna do a curbside order, I wanted to add these bags of Nerd Gummy Clusters because they're on sale two for eight. Guess what? When I search them online, it says my store's out of stock even though they have a whole bunch. So I can't add it as a curbside, which is a bummer. But I went over to the candy aisle. These are not as good of a deal, but I can still use them for stocking stuffers. My store had two of these, which are two for five. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these because I need to get my curbside order up to 40 because now I'm just gonna go ahead and use that digital booster that we got. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab these ones that are also two for five. And I'm like 60 cents short of being at $40. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a $1 candy. So now my curbside order is gonna be at $40.30. After coupons, I will pay $23.80. I'm not gonna be able to use any Walgreens cash now if I wanna earn that digital spend booster, which that's totally fine. So I'll pay $23.80. I'll earn back the $10 in Walgreens cash for spending 40 with that booster. And then I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for $12 back for my Rimmel. So it's gonna make my cost just $1.80. And I'm grabbing a whole bunch of stocking stuffers. So I am super duper great with that. So just be aware if you have the only for you coupons for the Rimmel and you have the regular ones that went out to all accounts and you buy six products like I tried, all, only three digitals will apply. I wasn't even using register rewards. Like I said already, it's a known thing with Walgreens system, but placing it as a curbside, all coupons applied as they should. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and go over this Walgreens haul. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this Walgreens haul. So I told you in the store, uh, unfortunately, my coupons would not apply at the register for the Rimmel. Only one, my three fifty dollars only for you came off for each one. The $2 on each one would not apply, which I was afraid of. Um, so be aware of that. So I decided to do that as a curbside. So I unfortunately, we had gone too far at that point. So I had to call the manager up and ask her to avoid it, which of course she was very gracious. Um, and did that for me. So I just purchased the Oreo ice cream bars in store, $13.50. I just used $10 in Walgreens cash. I paid the $3.50. Submitted my receipt to Ibotta for the $2 back on each one and the $4.52 on Shopkick, uh, plus the 50 cent bonus on Ibotta. So $2.48 for three of those ice cream bars. I think that's fantastic. It was a pain in the butt. I told you when I, whenever I scan any product, any Rimmel product in store, a, a weird error comes up that it can't find the product. So I had to literally search each product to make sure I grabbed the right color, then add it to my cart that way versus just being able to scan the barcode super duper easy and add it to cart. Um, and then I added all of these as stocking stuffers. So let's take a look at my receipt. And I, when you're doing a curbside order, the Rimmel is not going to show up because they're buy one, get one half price. They just kind of divide the price into two. And so it shows up like that instead of one showing up for $5.99 and one showing up for $2.99. So just in case you've never done a curbside order, that's how it works. So there's all of my products. And what I did was I just told my store, I'm going to do this as a curbside pickup. And I'll just bring all the products up to you so you don't have to go around the store and get them because I know my coupons will apply if I do it that way. And they were totally fine with that. Oh, by the way, I did get a 
spend booster when I bought the ice cream. So that was nice. Maybe I'll use it later in the week because Pampers are actually on promotion this week. So anyways, here is my whole, all of my products there. And then you can see all of my coupons applied, all six of them, curbside, no problem. Even though only three of my 350 ones came off when I did it in store. So $23.79 was what I paid. When you're doing a curbside order, it will not show you what cash you earned back. So I just logged into my Walgreens app. Now, when I did this, I also used my Walgreens credit card to pay and then it gives me an extra 5% in Walgreens cash back. So I actually earned $11.40, I think. Now I've had comments before about, well, how much are you paying in interest for your Walgreens credit card? And I'm guessing those people just don't understand how credit cards work, which uh, that's totally normal. Um, it's way more common than you would think. But with credit cards, you only get charged interest if you carry balances. You have a grace period, so as long as you pay it off, by the time you get your bill, then you don't pay any interest charges. So that's how I roll with that to get the extra rewards back because I don't want to pay high credit card interest. So anyways, I put the $23.79 on my Walgreens credit card, earned back an extra dollar and something in Walgreens cash. So I earned back $11.40 in Walgreens cash for that curbside order for that digital spend booster and using my Walgreens credit card. And then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta for $12 back. Now, when I did submit my receipt to Ibotta, it didn't pick up a dang thing. <laughs> so I had to manually add each one of my Rimmel products. So I don't know if it was because the receipt looks a little different because it's a curbside. I've submitted curbsides before. Now, if your store will not print you a receipt, you're not gonna wanna do this particular deal because we're looking at a bunch of Ibotta rebates back. My store always will. If they scan it with their little handheld machine, you're gonna get a digital receipt, which you cannot submit to Ibotta. But I just say, I need a printed receipt. They scan it right at the register and said, instead, and it will give you a printed receipt. So this little curbside order I paid $23.79 for. I earned back $11.40 in Walgreens cash, $12 on Ibotta, which is $23.40. It makes my cost 39 dang cents. 39 dang cents. And I'm so excited because I got all these um, stocking stuffers. So there you go. That is what I have for you. Definitely check out Rakuten. You can do an awesome, awesome gift on Rakuten, whether that's at Walgreens or another store, getting that $40 in cash back. And um, I don't know, I might be back at Walgreens later this week. We'll see. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. And I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.